Hey everyone, Shadow here, and welcome to another Marvel Contest of Champions video. Yes, it is that time again. You guys knew this video was coming. After the crazy opening that I had, and if you didn't see that opening, go check it out, because it's going to get spoiled. All right? But we're about to reveal who I'm going to take up in five, four, three, two, one. My boy, Gallon. That's right. So, Gallon, when he first came out, I wasn't really that impressed. I wasn't really looking into him. I played around with him a little bit as a, you know, the four star and, and all that. And uh, didn't really know uh, how to play him, how to use him. Then the video started coming out. Um, Legacy. Uh, started uh, making some videos, especially showcasing how to use him and the damage that he can do. And I was impressed, but still, you know, didn't really um, get into him until the Eternity of Pain, where we had to fight Penny Parker. That's what got me looking at these videos. Because before that, I wasn't looking at videos, wasn't really, I was like, well, you know, he looks okay, but during the Eternity of Pain, Penny Parker is one of the more annoying defenders. And when I saw that Gallon was a really good counter for Penny, I was intrigued. And I started watching videos. And then I saw some of the damage he was doing. I was like, whoa. How did he do that? What's that? He also has some good utility. Um, you know, he's immune to power burn for one thing. And I am hoping during uh, the war season to use him on my path. Now, during, uh, was it season 37, I've been using Namor and he works just fine. But Gallon might be just as good, if not better. Uh, you'll notice uh, if you watch my war videos, I know not a lot of you do, uh, but if you watch them, you'll see that I bring him there just for that fight. That's it. Um, you know, for that path. And I don't use him anywhere else. Well, with Gallon, I can use him for that path and I might use him elsewhere. Not only that, but after that path, I can make one of my um, other guys a herald. So we'll see. We'll see how it goes. It may change up my uh, war team a little bit. But in any case, Gallon is a beast. He is a true beast. Um, you'll see some gameplay a little bit later on. And... Um, I still don't know fully how to play him. I, I know a little bit of how to bring out his uh, damage. I know about building up the planetary mass, that sort of thing. But uh, I still need more practice playing with him. Uh, I need to take him out, you know, during the season or, you know, just even uh, we have a new event quest as well as a new side quest. I need to start bringing him. And, uh, you know, I am going to do that, especially the event quest that um, <clears throat> uh, benefits Cosmic. I will be bringing Hercules, I'll be bringing Galen, and I will be bringing Odin, for sure. Uh, probably uh, I'll also bring um, Angela, <clears throat> and we'll see. You know, I will use Galen. I'll make Hercules a uh, herald, put some Odin pre-fights on him, and go to town. Uh, that is also uh, what I've heard uh, folks do during uh, their pushes for um, incursions, room 25. They use Hercules, and they use Odin pre-fights, and they make him a herald. And I believe you can switch him out uh, Gallon, you can switch him out and Hercules remains a herald. 
So I think that's what they do. I have not done it yet, so I don't know. Uh, so there's still a lot of things that uh, I can learn uh, with Gallon, you know, maybe little tricks like that, that will, you know, make Hercules or other cosmics better. Because I believe it can only be a cosmic that becomes a herald, I believe. So uh, I'm looking forward to that. I'm really looking forward to that. All right. So Gallon is now my latest rank three, six star. You can see a few of his details here. And I had this awakening gem just waiting for him. So now he is awakened. And uh, I'm going to dump those sig stones into him, which I was also kind of holding, hoping to get Gallon. And I'm going to show you guys his uh, signature ability. Uh, and you'll see why. Now here, I was contemplating dumping these sig stones into him. All right. Um, I can still do that. But I was like, mm, let's let's wait for that. All right. Now, here's his signature ability. And if you look over it, you'll see that it is definitely worth doing. It makes him more tanky. Um, and it increases his damage, that burst damage that you'll see in a moment. All right. So definitely, I want to get him up there. I believe people were saying that uh, Sig 120 is his sweet spot. Uh, so we got a little ways to go. All right. So we're going to go into Realm of Legends and fight Winter Soldier. You know, just as a nice little metric. Uh, we won't see all of his utility because, of course, um, I think Winter Soldier does do a power drain. Um, I don't believe I showcased that here. So what I'm doing here is I'm doing a medium light medium and I'm building up his planetary mass. Okay, that's pretty much what I'm doing. And mainly depending on the fight, how long the fight is, that sort of thing will determine kind of how you go. So here, I didn't try to build up to the entire you know, max of his uh, planetary mass. He can get up to uh, 999. And what I did there, I just wanted to show you just with that little bit of planetary mass that I had accumulated, what his special one did, that burst damage. Now, I, I don't think I did it in this fight. I was gonna show you guys his special two, which is also pretty nasty. Put some incinerates on them and that sort of thing. But what I'm doing here is I wanted to show you um, what it looked like to build all the way up. So like, say you're in a, a long fight, you know, not, not one of the little, you know, arena fights or, um, you know, you're, you're on a boss fight and he's got some health. Okay. Uh, now something else to note, I am running suicides, so that's going to affect the damage that you're seeing, uh, him do. So just bear that in mind. Uh, but because I'm running suicides, I also want you to see his health. His health is not looking too shabby. Okay. And especially, I think I fired one special one and I'm building up right now to the special three. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to fire off the special three. That's going to start his harvest. And then... I'm going to try to uh, get to a special one as fast as possible. Okay. So, and it, it lasts long enough. Okay. If you're doing that, it lasts long enough. So you see I'm unstoppable. And you see I have a regen on as well. Gallon is the boy. Okay. So here I'm just building up, building up. Uh, I don't think I built up all the way. But look at that. I didn't uh, build up all of his uh, planetary mass uh, in this one. I think I got impatient. But look at what damage. If I had built all the way up, that one special one would have been it. That, it would have been done at that point. Okay, so this little planetary mass I have here, you see I'm doing a heavy attack. That starts the harvest. Okay, and then boom, fire the special one. Boom. 
I am very impressed with Gallon. And he's not that difficult to play. So I'm very, very um, eager to use him uh, more often. So you will see him being used in Alliance War. All right. So that's going to do it, guys. Thank you all for watching the video. If you enjoyed it, leave a comment. Let me know what you thought about the video. And you all have a blessed day. Thank you.